What is going on guys? They call me MP. Welcome to another video on the channel today. I have to be honest with you guys, it's very hard for me to make this commentary, put a smile on my face. It has been a very difficult two weeks for me. Uh, my computer's been on and off, operating system problems, hard drive problems, and even after I got it technically fixed, it still gives me issues. So, taking the time out of my day to try to make this video, hopefully everything goes smoothly. Stream will be up tomorrow, fingers crossed, I apologize. But we're going to talk about Black Ops 3 today. I told you guys that we would do a post-impressions of the game after the PlayStation 4 beta is all set and done as it is. We're in the midst of an Xbox One beta, and no, before you guys ask, I'm not playing the game on Xbox One. Nothing personal against my X1, it's just I'm not going to pre-order the game a second time. I don't want to spend any more money on the damn thing, even though I was pretty impressed with how it played. I, I was really really taken by surprise with this one and I, I wasn't hyped for it at all. Ampy, you hyped for this freaking game, man? Absolutely not, but they they did some good stuff and I want to talk about it today. So in the first impressions of the game, I really talked about the health, the snipers, and I mean the spawns weren't too bad, but the time to kill was just super, super awful. Um, I think that was still the case by the time I ended up playing. This gameplay is from my first day on and although I didn't record my last days on, it was nice to just sit back, play, take the game in for what I saw, and just talk to you guys about my experience. As far as I saw, I didn't really see a change in the time to kill, which upset me a little bit. Maybe it's just beta phase still. I could still be a little hopeful for that, but I still think it was too fast. You kill people way too fast in this game. I saw a lot of YouTubers posting about it, explaining that it's not as bad as Ghosts, and being as me spending as much time as I do on Ghosts, I have to disagree with that. I think it's faster, equal to if not faster than Call of Duty Ghost Time to Kill, which is fine, it's just when you add thrust boosting, you know, it, it kind of throws people off a little bit. So a little, little disappointed in that, but overall if that's my only complaint, then that's fine because they nailed the movement, as I said, I have no more complaints about the movement. It was nice to see Triarch actually take some player feedback into the mix. Uh, I heard a lot of nerf the Razorback complaints. I think they added a little bit more kick to it. I noticed a little bit ab about that uh, as the beta was winding down. But, you know, you slap a grip on that, and, and that mediates it, and that's the way it should be. If a gun handles wrong or in a different way, you should be able to add an attachment to it to counter that at an expense of other attachments. That's the way this thing should work. It shouldn't just be about ASM1 and battles all day. So that was really nice to see. I was a little disappointed in myself because... I thought that the snipers were really difficult to use, and I blamed it on a sensitivity issue. Uh, I thought Treyarch had some shit messed up with this analog sticks and the way they moved and handled, but I just come to realize that I suck with the sniper rifle. I've been seeing a lot of people post montages and clips and quad feeds and, and all kinds of stuff with sniper rifles, and I see all kinds of cool crazy shit going on on YouTube, and I can't do that stuff with a sniper rifle, so I'm blaming my inability to snipe completely on myself. If you guys want to disagree with me and give me the benefit of the doubt and say that it is a little bit more difficult to do, hey, more power to you and me, I guess, right? But it's it's hard. It's it's hard for me, I think. I think it's a little bit more difficult than Black Ops 2, which is good, I think. Uh, Black Ops 2 was just completely destroying um, TDM and, and domination games with snipers, so that, I guess that'll uh, help some people come back to the series if they were worried about sniping. You won't find as many snipers as you would have in Black Ops 2. That is definitely a given. There will be people using them, and I give credit to everybody who can use them, because I'm not one of those people, and I actually like to snipe, so that, that breaks my heart a little bit. So if you guys are curious, I was impressed. I definitely liked what I see out of this game, and it's a Treyarch game. You will never hear those words come out of my mouth, so hats off to you, A+. Thumbs up, appreciate all the work that they did. I will be playing this game come November time, and unless Destiny really, really sucks, I will spend a crap ton of time uh, in Black Ops 3. If Black Ops 3 sucks upon release and shit hits the fan, Maybe I'll play Ghost for the rest of my life. Still waiting on Rainbow Six Siege, that got delayed. And then Division comes out in March. We have some time, there are some games to play. Just remember that I appreciate all the support, and Ampy does really love you guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you all so much for watching. I have been Ampy, I will see you guys on the next video.